the Stein name has been synonymous with high yielding soybeans for nearly four decades. And it's through the research and dedication of our soybean research team that that's happened. I've got Rodney Penico here. He's a research team leader with Stein. Uh, Rodney, what's going on in this field right here? Well, this is our crossing block where we're making all our pollinations uh, for the summer. Uh, this year we've made uh, over 9,000 uh, crosses uh, here in this crossing block, which is uh, over 60,000 actual pollinations. Uh, that's in addition to what we do uh, in our winter crossing blocks for this year, which we did over 6,000 crosses. So totally, you know, we've done over 100,000 pollinations this year. Uh, what, what's, what's it look like? What's a hand pollination look like? Well, here's Teresa. She's, uh, she's doing a cross at the moment. Uh, we uh, predetermine our crossing uh, schedule, uh, what we're going to do uh, in our program per year, and uh, the crossers will uh, make those combinations. Uh, Teresa's here making a cross. She's already picked the flowers that we're going to use as the male. She's uh, cleaning around the bud of, uh, of what she's going to pollinate, and uh, we're actually going to take the pollen from that flower and uh, pollinate that bud that she's working on. She's going to tag that, put the cross number on that tag uh, that she is working with and initial it and we'll come out in a week or so and see if we got to take. So because soybeans are self-pollinated, you have to actually take pollen from another plant to, to make that cross. That's right. It takes very steady hands and uh, a lot of patience to do this job and it's, uh, it's a very tedious process for the whole month of July that we work on this. You do that 60,000 times. Yeah, so it takes a, a good steady crew to, to make that work. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, Teresa. Each year, the task of finding new soybean varieties falls to our soybean research team that runs our elite testing program, and they test and evaluate new lines of soybeans for us. Um, every year, we test and evaluate hundreds of thousands of new lines of hope for finding good varieties. Um, this box here represents a set of entries that will be taking place in our this year's elite testing program. Each of these envelopes uh, has seed in it, which is a new variety that's being tested. And each of these boxes holds 40 entries. And these are the boxes they'll take to the field and actually plant that seed uh, this coming spring. As you can imagine, when you're testing and evaluating more than 900,000 lines of soybeans, it takes a lot of boxes to come up with uh, what we hope are 35 or 40 new varieties at the end of the season. So Rodney, tell me a little about the timeline of how this all works from the point we cross till a grower might see something in a bag. Well, we're looking at five to six years, Dave. Um, the crossing that we're doing here on our farm today, um, we're gonna, at maturity time, which is uh, sometime in October, we're gonna be pulling those uh, cross seeds off. Each one will be one pod. Uh, we're gonna hand thresh that pod and we're gonna turn two generations in Florida from that seed. So we got a nursery that we're working in Homestead, Florida. So we'll take that seed and we'll send it to Homestead, Florida. And we're gonna turn two generations. We're gonna plant it in November. We're gonna reharvest it in February, replant it and bring the seed back here in May. And we're gonna have bulk populations, which we'll have you know, four to 500,000 bulk populations from this cross seed. So you've got a half a million new varieties just derived from the from the crosses you made a year ago here. Exactly, and we're gonna, we're gonna hand hand pull those plants and we're going to run each one through a thre hand threshing machine and we're going to thresh that seed and we're going to send it to our South America Argentina site. And we're going to increase that seed to bring it back to put it in our first year yield trials which we'll have uh, one rep at six locations. Uh, there'll be six row plots. Uh, we'll harvest the center four rows. Uh, we're on 20 inch rows so uh, we'll take uh, lodging data on that and we'll pick high yield and good lodgers and pick the top 7% and try to weed this down uh, as we go along into the next phase of uh, our yield trials. So, so at each stage of the game you're keeping just a few percent uh, of the total Exactly, varieties. we start with a few thousand and then everything that makes it out of that first year yield trials we're going to trim that down and keep you know top 5 to 7%. We'll be down just to a few thousand and as we get in and move into the elite trials you know we're down to a few hundred varieties which will turn into marketing, you know, just a, you know, a few uh, less than 50, 50 lines out of that generation of seed will actually make it to market. So from a half a million lines down to maybe uh, a few dozen, but that's what you have to do, I suppose, to find that's the right, very best stuff. That's right, because the pipeline stuff. is always full, so we're always weeding the top of the top out each time, and we got new stuff coming, so we're always uh, rotating the, the seed lines uh, for uh, uh, growers. Tell me this, Roddy. You know, you know what makes Stein such a successful company when it comes to soybean breeding. Well, it takes a lot of dedication. We got 
a hard working crew that's been here a long time. Everybody is dedicated. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of long hours, but that's what it takes to make a strong seed company like Stein. Thanks, Rodney. And it's that kind of commitment and dedication to quality that's kept Stein a leader in soybeans for nearly four decades.